He still gets to the top level of the press box, too. Wow. I want one of those seats. Yeah! Woo! I think I picked uh, won the game. And the reason they won was they were like, made a promise at the beginning of the year that they would be a family. In other words, they would act just like a family with so many disciplines. They helped each other. Also with us tonight, we have uh, one of our former coaches, a man with tremendous class, commands a lot of respect in his community. That's Mr. John Gibson. Hey, you got Gibby! Are you going to last year today? Ah. They might be. They might be. But I know one thing. They're not doing it in front of the best band in the state. That's for sure. Woo! They're not doing it in front of the best cheerleaders in the state. That's for sure. Woo! In the state. And they're certainly not doing it in front of the best football team in the state. Right? Just speaking, speaking from an older guy who hangs around with all the guys who have played for Coach Murphy, where if you grew up in Drinkett, I think everybody either played for Coach Murphy or had him in phys ed class. Um, it's really quite awesome to see the way these have. guys played here. Yeah. No one gives more support for this team than the Friends of Drake at Football. And I'd like to introduce a member of the 1988 Super Bowl team, Tarek Roth, with Friends of Drake at uh, Football uh, head, Mike Marshalletta. Here we go, Mike. And basically, I wanted to build on what Timmy was talking about, the greatest fans in the world. This is a football town, and we're so lucky that it's a football town. I come at it from a different perspective. In 1974, I was playing for the Stones. I realized from up to now, but it's important that you realize how important you are today to this community. This community means a lot, and you guys are now pumping this community up so much. And I hope that it's a time for a new coat of blue up on the crosswalks. And other when we won, they painted the crosswalks blue, and I hope they do it for you too, after you bring the trophy home tonight. Also, I hope to make you walk from Pleasant Street all the way to the high school, the parade, because that was as long as that was. They made us walk from Pleasant Street up here. <laughs> they really did. And as tired as we were, we played on Sunday. Is here either out of respect for the kids, um, because they care about the town, because they care about the school. All right, and I just want to tell you a little bit of, about these guys in front of me. All right, four years ago, these seniors um, made it their goal. All right, they've been part of a lot of traditions. Okay, what, I want this quick poll. What were you doing at 6 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday from right, June to get their butts up out of bed at 5 o'clock, to get up at 5.30, to do things kids nowadays don't do anymore. All right, to make a commitment to each other, to their team, to their coaches, all right, and put something, you know, other than themselves first. All right. So the one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the people that are here two out of the last three years, NBC champions, three straight wins versus St. John's Prep, Brockton, you know, win versus Brockton. They wouldn't play us twice. All right. The little car town that you know no one uh, thought could do anything. They've started a lot of traditions. They're gonna pick up a tradition Coach Murphy started in 1988 that we had a little bit of a gap between, but it's gonna be tradition state championships and Drake at High School again, and these guys are gonna make it happen. All right, everyone needs to be yelling and screaming tonight. All right, make it happen for these guys. All right, thank you. An unbelievable job, you know, watching them two years ago when I graduated here. And I said to Coach Moore and Coach Murph that, you know, when these kids are seniors, you know, they're going to do more than what my class did. And, you know, to graduate from Reagan High School, to play football. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thanks for having us. Uh, first off, what I'd like to do is I made a long list of people I want to thank. And uh, what I'd like to do is apologize in advance if I missed anybody. Um, but, but I tried to cover everybody, so bear with me. Uh, first of all, uh, the wives, uh, the families, and the coaches involved uh, who let us spend a lot of time here. Uh, Mr. McGuire and his staff, um, the parents, the moms at the Spaghetti Suppers, uh, Mike Marshalletta, Mr. Generoso, uh, Mr. Mullen, I'm uh, sorry, Dr. Mullen. Uh, Andy, Andy Graham, Mr. Woods, uh, Ms. Pimentel, uh, as we ran along here, 
the Boosters Club, Mr. and Mrs. Peter Calhoulias, Mr. Diffenbacher for the wonderful pictures and the support, the spaghetti suppers, uh, the website as well, the cheerleaders, the student body, um, Mr. Grandy in the band, uh, Miss Lee for helping us out with the highlight video, uh, the school committee, um, and, and a good friend of mine, Mike Miles, uh, the guidance department. Let's go out there and uh, get Mosfield today. <laughs>